So what I'm getting up to here, and those are my latest readings since I started the Recycle RO after I treated for some flukes a while back. And gone from a TDS of 314 to 155 over about just over two weeks. And in here, what's going on? Our rows up and running, put in the 270 millimeter trickle in. The RO of Palms running at about one litre, 200 mil a minute, and the waste out is running at 330 mil a minute. So about in between three and four to one waste to product ratio there. That's all ticking along nicely. Uh, soon going to be upgrading these membranes from 150 gallon a day to four, 300 gallon a day. I've got most of the bits together now. Just waiting on some parts coming in from Italy uh, and that's the new pump motor and here I have my uh, new dosing setup I'm going to be running this Jabal DP3 three headed uh, three channel doser and that's going to be dosing dechlorinator sodium bicarbonate and something else I haven't yet decided in the third one. Um, sodium bicarbonate because of the RO that's lowering my pH and KH now down to 7.3 pH and about a 3 uh, KH level and the dechlorinator because I'm getting fed up of restratifying these beds. Um, the last lot of carbon in here lasted like a month before I was getting sort of like trace amounts of chlorine through it so I'm just going to let it run through it lasts as long as it lasts and then I'll take the uh, the rest of it out by dosing just small amounts of uh, dechlorinator that I'll dilute with boiled water in there and that'll do about just about 10 mil a day dosage but that'll be diluted down in that container so I'm only going to be uh, adding a small amount of dechlorinator just to take any trace amounts that get past the big blues. Um, that's got a bit where I am for today. There will be a video coming up when I change over all this to my new membranes. I've got four 300 gallon a day membranes to replace these and the housings and a new pump that's going to be going down here but I'm waiting on the motor for the new pump coming in from Italy. Uh, that's taken longer than I thought. I've been waiting a couple of weeks or more for that. And then I'll be rejigging all this pipe work and running it um, with a, a bigger RO capacity that I'll need for the summer. Other than that, everything's just ticking along normally as it does. At about a three to four to one ratio on the RO into the pond and the waste out now. Uh, currently running about uh, 2. Point, point 260 mil of trickle in. Uh, probably be reducing that down a little bit now because the ratio's dropped on that and I'm only chucking out um, 330 mil. That's running half hour on, half hour off and reducing the levels in the pond. Just about to set this doser up now. I've got it all connected up. Um, I'll go in detail about that when I've set it all up. i um, got these containers from the camping shop and this doser off eBay was a bargain for like 15 quid. Uh, second hand but basically unused and new in the box with a spare pump head so I'll give that a try and if this works out and I like it I might change that over to a more expensive doser with a Wi-Fi connection so that I can alter the amount of um, sodium bicarbonate that's getting dosing because I'll dose that continually and then alter the amount that gets dosed each day to maintain the KH levels because running a bicarbonate doser off a pH is a bit variable that will move up and down during the day and KH is being consumed at a 
consistent rate and you dose that same as I dose it for a reef tank slow amount and you monitor the KH increase it as you need it and drop it back as you need it so other than that everything's ticking along nicely I've had the covers off today um, quite a warm mild day today about 12 degrees so thought I'd pop the covers off for a couple of hours it only takes a minute to take them off and uh, give the fish a bit of fresh sunlight uh, somebody asked me in one of the other videos about how I held the uh, pond covers on and what I used is these, these are four inch fire door hinges here are. and then a piece of wood cut out and connected to it the thickness of the polycarbonate so fold them back, lift the polycarbonate off and then I can lock them in place by pulling these round on the hinges and then these lock the polycarbonate from lifting up underneath and I've got one of those on each post that, that pulls round, locks this side down and the same for the far end and then the polycarbonate panels are cut and they've got an exposed edge so it's like in a C section with an exposed edge here so they actually they'll lock together when you butt them up to each other and that's how I hold my polycarbonate down. Which are quite enjoying the warm weather we've got now. The behaviour changes quite a bit as soon as you take the covers off, they start swimming around a lot more with a bit of fresh air and fresh light coming in. And that's the update for today. I'll do another one once I set the dosing pump up and you can see all that working and then another one after that for the uh, Recycle RO upgrade.